Hey everyone. Super important. Let me know how you guys are down in the comments. You guys already know that I see basically every single comment. And not to get too sappy or anything, but I genuinely do appreciate you guys watching my videos. It truly means a lot. Now onto the video. What is MSI mode? Well, MSI stands for message signal interrupts. What does it do? Well, MSI mode was created to replace something called line-based interrupts. And the reason why line-based was replaced was because it could only support up to 15 different interrupts. And while I say replaced, I should note that both methods do still exist but MSI mode provides many advantages in comparison to line-based. Why does this matter? Well, when the CPU is executing a program, there needs to be a way for the CPU to receive input from the user. Method one, polling. This method requires the CPU to stop what it's doing and check the status of a device at normal intervals and waste CPU cycles, especially when nothing new has happened. Method two is interrupts. An interrupt is the process to interrupt the flow of a program. The device interrupts the CPU when a task is done or has input for the CPU. Instead of continuously pulling devices for new data, in interrupt-driven systems like MSI mode, the CPU is alerted by an interrupt when a device requires attention. This approach significantly reduces wasted CPU cycles compared to polling. With line-based interrupts, let me tell you the problem with it. Some examples of interrupt usage you'll commonly run into is one interrupt number for timer and another for keyboard, real-time clock, mouse, math coprocessor, IDE controller, and anything else connected to your machine. The point being here that because of the limited amount of interrupts, interrupts would have to be shared, and that's no bueno for system performance. When a device sends an interrupt, the CPU would pull all of the devices to figure out who had sent the request. MSI instead uses memory and a shared bus between all devices. When it needs attention, it sends a request to memory, and the interrupt controller will notify the CPU, and then the CPU looks at the reserved set memory to know exactly which device sent the interrupt, so it only needs to pull one device instead of all of them. And the main benefit to MSI is that it supports up to 2048 interrupts compared to the former 0 to 15. Though the actual number depends on hardware, my point still stands that its support with MSI is far greater. I think all GPU manufacturers currently have line-based interrupts enabled by default for all desktop-based GPUs, and by using MSI mode, you're reducing latency between the CPU and GPU by not requiring the CPU to pull all of the devices with line-based interrupts. The benefit it provides varies from system to system, but in theory, it should help overall system latency and potentially frames by a good amount too. The best way I can phrase it is like this. With line-based interrupts in a first-person shooter, would you rather have your mouse click, CPU pull all devices, and then acknowledge your input? Or with MSI mode, would you rather click, immediately acknowledge your mouse, and have an instant reaction from mouse to your game? Who in their right mind would want a delay between clicking and your gun shooting? That's the magic behind MSI mode. The delay benefit should be incredible. So how do you get the most benefit from this? Well, there's a good chance that you won't see any. Unless if you have a lot of devices sharing interrupts with line-based, then using MSI mode may not show you a huge delay improvement. But personally, I do recommend still trying, and I'm going to show you how to turn on MSI mode. Firstly though, since MSI mode involves a different method of interrupt signaling between the device and the CPU, enabling it on a device that doesn't support it may cause the device to not properly handle interrupts or communicate with the CPU. How to know what something currently uses? Well, inside of your device manager, at the top, click View, Resource by Type, and then under Interrupt Request, or IRQ, Go ahead and open that up and scroll on down until you see your GPU, for example. So here you see RTX 3080 Ti and devices with a negative symbol will show that it is an MSI mode and anything with a positive will be line based. Now within a program called MSI Utility version three, that'll be linked for you in the description. We have a list of everything that supports MSI mode along with priorities for them. And in MSI mode, the interrupt priority determines the order in which devices receive service when multiple interrupts are pending. This means that when multiple devices are generating interrupts simultaneously, the device with the high priority setting will be serviced first, ensuring that its interrupts are handled promptly. And changing the interrupt priority too high can be beneficial in certain scenarios where you want to prioritize interrupts from a specific device over others. This could be useful for devices that require low latency or real-time response, such as certain types of networking or storage devices. However, it's important to note that modifying interrupt priorities should be done with caution as it can affect system stability and performance. Boom, benchmark time. First set of benchmarks I did with no MSI mode whatsoever. So everything unchecked. When I did this, I completely bricked my PC and spent like two hours fixing it. So please don't try to turn off MSI mode for everything. I ended up only being able to get creative benchmarks with this mode. So I went ahead and decided to add it for all other tests too, along with the battle royale benchmarks for test two and three. For latency across all three creative tests, you could argue MSI mode without priority had the best latency and FPS with its 1% lows being 444. And I'll wait here for a moment so you can all see the benchmarks or feel free to pause the video.
Now, on to Battle Royale. Once again, feel free to take a look at the graphs here or pause the video if you wish. Overall, between MSI and MSI with Priority, Priority had the largest difference between max FPS along with better ISR latency, but unfortunately lower average FPS. Long story short, use MSI mode at the very least and feel free to mess around with the priorities as you may find yourself in a spot that is much better than just the default. With that everyone, love you lots, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.